Step right up, step right up. I'll take the first group of six to eight. It has all the makings of a classic carnival sideshow, but with a spooky twist. Carnival is a carnival-styled haunted house with many unexpected twists and turns. The spook house has been on hiatus for over 10 years, but the Bemidji JCs felt the timing was right to revive the long-standing tradition. It's been about 10 years since we've done the last um, JCs sanctioned haunted house. It's uh, kind of a play on the circus, freak show, sideshow atmosphere. While the concept of Carnival is new, some of the props and set may look familiar. The JCs pulled together resources from its annual water carnival to help set the scene and add to the atmosphere. So with planning you know, the water carnival for as many years as we have, it's really helped in being able to set up uh, what we've needed to have a lot of the equipment that we already needed to use in our possession, which has helped a lot. Carnival is made up of a large cast of its JC membership who do everything from direct parking, take tickets, and portray characters in the show. Carrie Johnson is one of the ringmasters that takes you through her carnival that has gone awry. Basically my job is to get people through the haunted house. I read them the rules in the beginning and bring them on a tour. They see different attractions and all sorts of things. For Carrie, just having the opportunity to portray a character makes it all worth it. The experience, getting to do something I don't do every day. Um, I don't get to dye my hair cherry red and put curlers in every morning, so. In its first weekend, hundreds turned out to tour the creepy carnival, and with one more weekend to go, it's just a sign that this is something the community has been asking for. The response has been absolutely huge. Clearly, this is something that the community was very thirsty for. So if you dare to explore the Beltrami County Scaregrounds to check out Carnival, just remember, things are not always what they seem. With this week's Community Spotlight, in Bemidji, Josh Peterson, Lakeland News.